This is a mass timber construction, the very first of its kind. We call it the Timber Innovation Center here in Kampala, Uganda. And the place that I'm standing right now is a really exciting development in the projects that Fair Ventures Worldwide is running in Uganda, bringing really interesting technology and timber construction from Europe here to Uganda. Fair Ventures works across the entire timber value chain. And that means that we have a forestry unit that works with smallholder farmers and promotes indigenous trees that add to uh, restoring degraded land. But then the question is, that timber is growing and growing and growing, where does it go? We support the value chain, which means we look for opportunities for timber growers to sell their timber at a higher income to them. What we hope is that this construction will be seen by people all over Kampala, will be shared with the industry, and will act to inspire the timber industry here in Uganda to add more value into the timber that's being produced by our farmers back in that first step. So in 2020, Fair Ventures Worldwide was launching the Mass Timber Construction East Africa MTCA project in Uganda. The MTCA project is about timber value chain. We are looking into the timber value chain to increase the value and add value to the timber. So what we as fair ranchers were looking at is glue laminated timber, short glue lamb. Glue lamb beams is an engineered timber product which can be used for timber construction. Fair ranchers with the MTCA projects developing a first glue lamb production together with local partners in Uganda, where we can produce a building material which is sustainable, which is even regrowing in the forests. We can produce it locally here in Uganda. The purpose for this idea was to showcase to Ugandans and basically to the world, mainly East Africa, how we can utilize timber, not for just buttons and scaffolding and, and you know the basic products we have no timber for, but also show you that it can do bigger things and construction is one of them. This Timber Innovation Center stemmed from the Mass Timber Construction East Africa project, whose aim was to foster sustainable and affordable housing through Mass Timber Construction in East Africa. Timber has the potential to substitute most of the building materials because timber is a renewable resource. And then timber is environmentally friendly because it's stored carbon. It is easier to work with than concrete and steel. It's a pretty impressive uh, facility, especially when it comes to breaking mindsets. Because I think one of the things about being an architect is that you're called to pioneer different things. So a lot of times you'll find you will do the specification um, for a lot of stuff. And maybe one of the challenges we've been facing is that explaining to clients to understand that timber can function and function well. It can do what steel can do. It can do what concrete can do. It can do what brick can do. And just trying to get them around that mindset that they've had in the past. But if people can see a facility like this and see the different way in which timber is being used, I think it will go a long way in altering those mindsets. UTJ growers are worth 130,000 hectares. So we have a lot of wood in Uganda actually. So the Timber Innovation Center has brought to the fore that need. We believe that it's going to create many opportunities for, for the industry. There will be many jobs created. There'll be increased incomes for our farmers and all other woodworkers in the industry. And there'll be growth and development in the industry. So when we are looking at timber construction in Uganda, we really have to focus on developing local timber construction standards, norms, that the engineers and the architects can use them to develop buildings and timber constructions. We have to improve the quality of the timber when we want to use it in buildings. Uganda has such a good climate condition 
where trees are growing so fast and the soil conditions are very well. So there is a lot of timber in general available in the Ugandan market, which should be used more for construction. At this stage, I would like to thank all the partners and sponsors who supported the Timber Innovation Centre project. Yeah, so as Fair Ventures, we are open to partnership. We call upon all interested persons to come and join hands with us as we work to improve the timber industry. And it can be anyone, it can be someone in the construction business, it can be the academia, it can be development partners, anyone with a vested interest in this. You're welcome to join us and thank you.